from the first alert weather team. Conditions vary across the Cape Fear on this midday due to some pop-up showers and storms that are rolling through our area. However, not all places are experiencing showers and storms. As we take a look outside in Elizabethtown with our Bob King GMC first alert sky cam, we are seeing dry skies, plenty of sunshine on this afternoon. Elsewhere across the Cape Fear looks a little different. We have some ongoing shower and storm activity. Some of these cells are packing lots of lightning and heavy rainfall and all of this rainfall that we have been receiving for the past few days does pose some concerns over localized flooding elsewhere across the Carolinas. This is mainly pretty local here in southeastern North Carolina with these bumpy conditions this afternoon and our rain chances are staying elevated throughout the rest of today and even throughout the rest of this week. However, no washout days are in sight. Not going to see that widespread rainfall until later into the week. So let's break down the timing for these showers and storms starting later this afternoon. We'll still have some of those summery pop up showers and storms rolling through our area, mainly staying west of I 95 as we go throughout tonight and then into tomorrow. A similar pattern emerges. Lots of dry time in between those pop up showers and storms, some bringing locally heavy rainfall and lightning with them as well but that similar trend will continue as we go into Thursday. A bit of a bumpy start to Thursday morning with those isolated showers and storms. But as we get into a Thursday afternoon and evening, we'll continue to see some unsettled conditions due to a front that's going to make its way into our area, bringing more unsettled conditions to the Cape Fear, leading to an unsettled Friday. That's our best chances to see more widespread showers and storms. So for the rest of today, mainly just those isolated cells moving through temperatures pretty seasonable with highs in the upper 80s, lower 90s, while tonight still a few of those showers and storms possible lows upper 70s, while tomorrow a similar day to today with those summery conditions with highs in the lower 90s. So as we look into the rest of this week, we'll have that typical July pattern emerge. Eventually that cold front moves through our area, bringing more widespread rain and storm chances and cooler temperatures by late week and into the weekend as we'll see those middle 80s return. Kim. Breaking news.